The OV-1 Mohawk has been part of the U.S. Army arsenal of aircraft since 1960. This time-proven surveillance aircraft is now being updated, and part of that update is an integrated cockpit from Honeywell, Sperry Defense Systems Division. This retrofit program is geared toward reducing cockpit clutter, simplifying the pilot's tasks, and increasing his effectiveness and that of his aircraft. Of the instruments found in the current OV-1 configuration, only backup instruments are retained in the retrofitted cockpit. The rest are replaced with a highly flexible electronic display system, or glass cockpit. Let's take a few minutes to see how the Mohawk's new control display system, the CDS, works from the pilot's point of view. The pilot uses two multifunction displays, or MFDs, to select and display flight and system status information. Both MFDs are capable of presenting the same information, but for flexibility, the system is designed so that various display formats can be shown on each MFD. The vertical situation display, or VSD format, provides attitude information, as well as navigation and command steering information, enabling a single pilot to fly the aircraft. The horizontal situation display, or HSD format, is a top-down stick map display that shows navigation and threat information. The pilot can develop a flight plan map on the HSD by stringing waypoints together. He can then use the flight plan map to navigate. The information shown on each MFD is controlled by the adjacent buttons on the bezel. Let's look at the basic elements of each display. The VSD is in the combined GPS, INS, NAV mode. Starting at the top, the first line is the COM line. It shows the pilot has selected Radio 1, Channel 3, the radio is ciphered, and the pilot is on frequency 40.075. The HSD is also shown in the GPS, INS, NAV mode. The same communication information is displayed in the same location on the VSD and the HSD. Radio, channel, cipher mode, and frequency. Beneath the comm line on the VSD is the heading tape. It shows 180 degrees of heading and moves horizontally as the aircraft heading changes. Located along the heading tape are several symbols. The memory marker, or captain's bars, represents the heading that the autopilot flies to in the heading hold mode. It can also be used as a memory aid for assigned headings. The bearing symbol, represented by an open caret symbol, points to the current waypoint. The HSD uses a compass rose to indicate heading. Like the VSD, it uses the same memory marker to indicate autopilot heading and the same bearing symbol to indicate the direction to the current waypoint. The upper left corners of both displays show the distance to the current waypoint and the waypoint identifier. In this case, the distance to the waypoint is 43.3 nautical miles, and the current waypoint is 29 T. The lower left corners of both displays show the aircraft's present position, either in latitude and longitude, or in UTM coordinates. In this case, present position is in latitude and longitude. If UTM coordinates were used, the distance to the waypoint in the upper left corner would be shown in kilometers. Other information in the upper left corner on the VSD includes the current mode and a stopwatch function. The boxed number on the VSD's left side shows indicated airspeed, in this case, 130 knots. Above it is the Mach number, and below it, the current G. The boxed numbers in the right center portion of the VSD show barometric altitude, 1,300 feet. 
above the barrow altitude, the numbers 2994 indicate the barometric setting. The pilot can change that setting by entering a new setting from the cockpit keyboard. The vertical scale along the right side of the VSD is the vertical velocity scale. Note that the scale is expanded between plus or minus 1,000 feet for accurate readings during approaches. Beneath the barrow altitude display, the box number shows radar altitude, in this case 180 feet. The pilot can set a low setting for radar altitude on the next line. This display shows that the aircraft has flown through the low setting of 200 down to 180. When that occurs, the warning legend low appears, flashing for several seconds, then going steady. The center of the VSD is basically an attitude indicator. It displays the usual pitch ladder and roll indications, but it also includes two symbols that help the pilot fly the airplane, the flight director steering cue and the flight path indicator. When the steering cue moves off center, it cues the pilot that he needs to take action to return to the selected course or pitch attitude by flying to the cue. In this case, the symbol is four degrees above the horizon line, indicating that the pilot needs to pitch the aircraft up four degrees. The steering cue can be coupled with the autopilot to maintain a pre-selected heading, attitude, course, or glide slope. The flight path indicator is used to maintain level flight or to establish a precise climb or glide angle. For example, suppose a pilot wants to fly a six degree angle of descent. By flying the aircraft so as to superimpose the flight path indicator six degrees below the horizon line, the pilot will attain the desired descent angle. This occurs independent of factors such as airspeed or the position of the gear and flaps. Now let's return to the HSD page. We've already seen that some of the information and symbols shown on the VSD, distance to waypoint, waypoint identifier, present position, bearing symbol, memory marker, are exactly the same on the HSD. However, other information shown on the HSD is more useful for flight planning and navigation. In the upper right corner, the HSD shows the ground speed, 240 knots. This speed is shown in kilometers per hour if the present position in the lower left corner is displayed using UTM coordinates. Below the ground speed is the time it will take to reach the current waypoint at that speed. This example shows it will take 10.8 minutes at 240 knots to travel the 43.3 nautical miles to the next waypoint. The next line shows the distance the aircraft is off course, 3.2 nautical miles. The lower right corner of the HSD shows the time, 7.46.04. Below that is the scale in which the flight plan map is displayed, minus the last three zeros. One of two scales can be selected, 1 to 500,000, or, as in this case, 1 to 2 million. The stick map inside the compass rose depicts the current flight plan. The fixed cross in the center of the display is the aircraft symbol. It represents the aircraft position along the flight plan route. The remaining buttons on the HSD bezel provide access to other flight planning and navigation modes used during flight. For example, in the lower right corner, Map Offset relocates the aircraft symbol to the bottom of the page and reformats the map to depict an area twice as far out in front of the aircraft. Nav Update on the left side allows the navigation system to compare calculated and actual position to correct for errors. If they disagree, the pilot can update the computer with only three presses of the adjacent button. Another example, Direct Waypoint. Suppose the pilot wants to fly around a storm without losing his current flight plan. The direct waypoint function allows him to define a new waypoint, fly directly to that waypoint, then pick up his current flight plan again. Finally, pilots can select one of five nav modes using the mode select function. When the nav mode select button is pressed, the legends along the right side of the display are blanked, 
and the five HSD nav modes are listed along the left side. The current mode, still GPS INS at this point, is boxed in the upper left corner. If the pilot selects the instrument landing system, or ILS mode, the stick map shown in the GPS INS nav mode changes to a conventional horizontal situation indicator. The page shows course deviation to an ILS localizer course and a depiction of a glide slope. The upper left corner displays the currently selected ILS frequency and the ILS identifier. When the pilot selects the ILS mode on the HSD, the ILS mode on the VSD automatically comes up. Most of the symbology shown on the basic GPS INS page is retained. However, instead of distance to waypoint in the upper left corner, the VSD shows the ILS frequency and identifier. The VSD ILS page also indicates glide slope and steering is now to the ILS localizer. The cross-shaped course select symbol in the heading tape indicates the selected ILS course. Extending from the course select symbol is the course deviation thermometer. It shows whether the aircraft is off course, and if so, by how much. This brief description of the new OV-1 Mohawk CDS shows its flexibility and ease of operation. The fully integrated displays bring together, within a single glance, all the information a pilot needs to fly the aircraft. Defense systems retrofit of the Mohawk's cockpit will bring this time-proven aircraft into the 80s and beyond.